<clears throat> okay, everyone say hello stream. Hello, hello stream. Hello stream. Don't swim in the flood water. <laughs> 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 Okay. Um cool. So I think before I go into um the recap for the fans out there that missed <laughs> the last session, I love saying that every time. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. I think we we're just gonna deal out firstly welcome everyone, happy new year. Really excited for this session. Um because we left it on a cliffhanger, so um super exciting um i think what i'll do first is just give out um the inspiration from the last session um <laughs> and explain why um so basically we th we thought firstly actually let me let me do the recap and then i'll explain the inspiration because that's kind of the reason why so um where we ha what we had in the last session um everyone decided uh, well, they didn't decide. They went and fought the croc. That was kind of most of the session uh, for Elrin, um, who was passive during that session, um, to let you know. It was just basically mostly fighting the croc. There was a bit of beef in the morning um, and begrudgingly wanting to do the croc from um, Gimbal and Tosca. Um, and so you woke up um, and uh, Tosca was... Uh, right next to uh, Himbo's shit bucket. Um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> after you guys had some food, you kind of went with to where the croc was, and I'll just quickly move the map so you can see where that was, um, Elrin, and just a refresh for everyone. Luckily, you avoided two massive. Um, I think they were were they pythons um, or like massive cobra snakes, um, and basically kind of ha you arrived at the where the swamp was where um the croc lived um and uh Krethic kind of left you to it didn't really um you know, the lizard folk are you know burning your trust um so they took a step back to see if if you would defeat the croc or you know end up turning on him who knows they don't know um oh so, yeah you had a very kind of intense battle um it was, you know, to help you and failed every single time um, and got knocked unconscious. Um, and you all kind of gave it a good go. Elrin, you gave 35 points of damage for your stats. Um, and it was ultimately Clement who um, dealt the the last blow. And I will say, and this is why it's linked to the inspiration, I am, we were both so impressed with, you know, all of you are great at combat. It was like next level in combat. Um, where Clement decided to climb a tree and jump down with her two hand axes and deal that fatal blow to the croc. And, and we were just, you know, you use one of your turns, go up the tree and do it. And we were just really, you know, really impressed. You get inspiration this round, this um, session. Um, My legs really hurt because of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and also, we, we again, think about that combat side of things. We were really as well um, with Airless, who thought of using a spell that maybe you wouldn't think to use, which was speak to animals um, in a combat situation, which, again, Airless, we really liked that you, you know, used other spells you had to try and think outside the box. How can I assess the situation? Um, so, yeah, and I think you used it to speak to the... the the snakes as well which helped you not get <laughs> attacked by them so that was yeah really quick thinking on your part and yeah that so they're the two inspirations there but we again i want to reiterate like even though um we gave them inspiration you all were really great in that combat and obviously we know that's something that there's seven of you we know it takes a long time and i think we're, we're kind of getting to grips with getting through combat um in a good pace so yeah really good session last time we really enjoyed it just wanted to, to say that to you all um cool so where have we ended so we are at the swamp about to leave um and dm battle god ended on a lovely hanger where we heard i believe like the stomp and loud kind of thundering of something nearby something, coming kind of towards you something had been feasting as well the yes sound of something yes something had been um and that is actually 
where we left you. Um, so, yeah, I think, are there any other, before we kind of get into the session, are there any questions? Can I ask a question? Yeah. So, let's say we w we're whispering, but can we just talk, but just say, I'm whispering this? Yes, of course you can. Thank you. Stage whisper. That's fine. That's yeah. it. That's um, what I was going to say. I yeah. Stage whisper. want to clear with everyone to make sure that you know hit points and spell slots and things given that we are going yes. from one encounter to another encounter without short resting <laughs> yeah i listened so i think i'm on top of mine yeah you you had um i'm just trying to think of how many you had left because I, yeah. I don't think i was here at all to be honest no yeah i, I don't think, think just, i was either um i think if, yeah I think you should all be fine. I think just remember your spell slots. Um, Elrin, I didn't use any of your spells, I don't think, so you're fine. Um, I will also probably not use my spells, so yeah, yeah. same to use. Um, so yeah, if anyone, just yeah, keep clued up on what you used last time. Remember your hit points. And I guess, the Ambassador God, should I let you take it from here? Mm, yeah. So, cool. Um, it Towards the end of last session, it was getting darker the sun was setting you'd spent you know a good six hours traveling was it six or eight hours i can't quite remember a long time traveling there and you're getting close to getting back you know you're you're four or five hours into the journey um the the sun has not set however it is dark amongst the the mangrove trees and the swampland um and to your right, very close to you, um, although you cannot see. So even those with dark vision, it's not that close. Um, you hear kind of a crunching and a muttering in a, a, a tongue that I don't believe any of you speak. Um, oh, I need to write down what languages you all speak. Um, do any of you speak giant? Nope. I do. You do? I speak giant. Okay. I picked it as I thought it would be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <that's dumb. laughs> so you very um, vaguely make out the sounds of um, a giant speech, uh, kind of muttering. Uh, in a in a deep gruff voice, um, just seemingly to him, to itself um, about how delicious something is, and then it stops, and it sniffs, and then it it, it mutters something about um, more delicious, and you hear the sounds of footfall coming towards you quite rapidly. Oh shit! Um, I I want to turn to Krethic. It's like and like whisper. Are there? Do you know of any giants nearby? Uh, to be honest with you, we do have. Um, you know, this is a marsh. There are creatures that. Yeah, you saw that that fat, mm -hmm. massive croc that you fought. So, I mean, we have explored. We've done patrols, and sometimes we do have to. Um, you know, fight a few. There's trolls. There's ogres. There's all sorts. It could. It. I mean, it. It. There could be anything, really. Are they? Are they like friends of yours? Oh no, no. Okay, we're 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 about to be in some shit. Um, what, what do you mean in some shit? We're still uh, in a marsh. <laughs> there's a giant on the way. Did you say giant? I guess there's going to be. Yeah. What? Oh, not many other things speak giant. That's what that noise from over there was. Okay. And now it sounds like it's coming to us. Um, I think... Hide. Can we hide? Can we? Um, we have... Someone has a spell, right? That will Can we help huddle us. Again? I mean, it could be a friendly giant. A big friendly giant, some might say. It, yeah, true. <laughs> it might be a big friendly giant. It's I'm giant's gonna... known for being friendly. I would like to hide, please. In, um... Um... And I suggest you all follow my example as I yeah. cover myself in mud. 
Yeah. I mean, I've literally start to, I like started like. to smother myself in mud because like <laughs> anything that smells not um. nice. <laughs> okay. Um. So are you all hiding? Uh, I'm like, um, yeah. trying to read something really quick. So... Do, do we have any um? Uh, like, like, like fires on or anything like that. I, I've got um. Uh, no. I got, we were walking. Oh, we were walking. Sorry. We're, what are we walking? Sorry. Brilliant. Good. Cool. Can I cast Pass Without a Trace? Yes, you certainly can! Woo! Yeah, Woo! Man. I'm at this one oh, there. Oh, there. <laughs> um, Okay, so I need everybody to roll a stealth check for me um, and um, add plus 10 to your roll um, from if, if you're within 30 feet of Ellis, which. I'm assuming you, you all are. I think yeah, we'd all be huddled, are. wouldn't we? Alice, mm -hmm. what colour are you? Uh, I'm yellow. Well, oh, oh El yeah. yeah. Boom, Alice in the middle. We get more. Set to the president. You're going to call out names when you want numbers. Uh, yeah, I will. Um, we will start with... Hang on. Um... Have a dice box depth. I'll have to get my rules. Uh, start with Tosca, please. Uh, 22. And also, can I cast Invisibility? Uh, you can do. <laughs> that that will make you very invisible. Gonna do it for you. <laughs> it, I mean, it is a spell that I have in my possession. So, um, yeah. Is that a... Which dice is that? It just happens. Oh, okay. So Tosca <laughs> disappears from view. Um, if you glance down, you can still kind of um, see where their feet meet the floor, um, but they are invisible. <laughs> I've moved you across the knot on the map, <laughs> but you're there. <laughs> um, then we have Clement. I also was twenty-two. Uh, Himbo. Twenty-two. Uh, Ellis. 16. I did not roll well. Uh, Elrin. 30. Uh, Gerald. 30. I rolled a 19, boy. Gimbal. Plus I one. rolled. And a... 27. Huh? Damn. 27. Nice. Uh, Krethic. Uh, do we plus 10, you said? Yeah. 14. And Ocean Earth. Um, 11, it was an at 1. Ooh. Okay. Let me just check something. Did you have the dexterity? Uh, yeah, for your stealth check, you do. Yeah, I think she's asking yeah. if, Amy, if Amy did when oh. she rolled those. Did she add 10 and the dexterity, or did she just add 10? Oh, I don't know what Ocean... Uh, Let me check what Ocean is. <laughs> I mean, Ocean has rolled a nat 1. <laughs> yeah, True. that's funny. Still, <laughs> like, still regardless. <laughs> okay. Ocean has the worst luck. Plus one. It's plus one, so it's You're not even much. Fucking useless. So, um... <laughs> Why is he? Why is he with us? Don't <laughs> be talking about my boy Oceanus like that. You soggy little oh, man. Better be some good dick. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is my health funny? As you um, kind of slink into the shadows, Tosca, you are invisible. Um, <laughs> the this huge hulking beast, not a beast. It's a humanoid, but still, hulking beast um, comes uh, like colliding through the. Um... Sorry, say that again. Uh, hang on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, he comes oh. um, storming through the uh, mangrove trees, knocking them out of his way as he passes with relative ease. Um, and 
charging towards where he thinks you guys are. Um, he storms into the clearing and kind of glances around, not really noticing any of you. And looking around, gives a quick sniff. Uh, and you hear, Elring, you hear him mutter, um, We're hungry. Where? And just as he takes a, another step forward, Oceanus kind of no. <laughs> stumbles forward, um, trying to readjust his position in hiding um, and tripping over a twisted root. Um, he falls forward into the clearing and this huge monstrosity kind of looks immediately towards him and says they're hungry and storms forward um and is going to take a swing at him um oh, no. and and then Actually, i mean you, already... you guys can <laughs> do things if you want to but right now he's swinging I... Oh. Who wants to help Billy, man? Do we no. understand him, or is he? Oh, you about? get away from my friend! <laughs> <laughs> can I can I shoot the giant thing with my bow? Uh, once he's hit, I guess he'll get, you can. Yeah, he'll get to attack. C can we make till he moves closer? I mean, he's, he's right up to Oceanus now. Is he hitting the boy? Oh. Yeah, he's in melee. How much health is Ocean? Uh, Oceanus. Uh, is rough. He was on, I remember him not being on much health. <laughs> um, I got a 25 to hit. Oh, that hit. No, this is... <laughs> <misses. laughs> and that is... Do you understand oh. what the giant's saying, by the way? No, no, no. no you guys don't understand um, what the giant's only, saying. Only Ellen does. Yeah. yeah, but you, we have seen him black. Well, smack our friend. I was going to say, I think we can wish we get a little yeah. idea of what he's saying from his body language about to think you can get attacked for many reasons <laughs> that is 16 points of bludgeoning damage yeah oh, unconscious oh. that's unconscious that's oh, he... oh that's all nice. that's how many <laughs> let me see how many hit points he has oh no oh my god he's fucking dead okay. i asked about berries he didn't scat that's um... death Okay. No, he's not dead yet. He's just very, <laughs> very unconscious. He's like, yeah. you know, in cartoons oh, where something heavy hits them on the ground, on the head, and they just sink slowly into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's currently just like, like half a torso. Right yeah. now. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, well, let's roll for initiative. Yep. Ooh. Remember, Ooh. you do not have to fight the. That guy. I mean, he's getting emotionless. Yeah, you you can, but you, I'm just saying, as a reminder, you don't have to fight the bad guy. Oh, Why do you not want to say let Oceanus die? Yeah. <laughs> Actively go, fuck you, Oceanus. <laughs> we just stand there as statues, not gonna get us. <laughs> My initiative is the best I've ever done. Mm. Let's see. I'm ready when they are. Um. Okay, we will start with Tosca. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna no, help initiative. my boy, but no, it... numbers. Pa sorry, what initiative, initiative did you roll? You mean like initially, or uh, did we roll again? What? We've only rolled we initiative did a once throw earlier. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Twenty-two. No, that was your stealth roll. Huh? Okay. Uh, sixteen. Okay. Oh, wrong number. There we go. Clement. One. Ooh, himbo. 
Three. Glad it was the one for that. Ellis. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Um, I'm confused now because you said one. Do we not add the plus two initiative? Whatever we've got to this. Yeah, yeah, add your dex. Yeah. yeah. That, that's different for everyone. Oh, uh, okay. Got... Oh, you... oh, you got now. Okay. They there, then I've got four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've just. How do I unbig screen my screen? There we go. Did it. We're all in D20s, we right? Yes, D20s. Yeah. 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 D20s. <laughs> Elrin. Yeah. 19. Thank fuck. Gerald. Lies. 11. Gimbal. 13. Unlucky for some. Krethic. 3. <laughs> oh, one sec. Um, tw not 20. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You throw all Oceanus! <laughs> um, 21. Ah, oh, he can fail his death save immediately. Excellent. <laughs> um, okay, I will sort that. And my mouse is not working properly, so I am just going to tell you what order you're, it, we're going in. Oceanus, Krethic, Elrin, Tosca. I'm writing this down as well, by the way. Gimbal. Yes. Gerlad, apparently. Um, nice. Airless. <laughs> Himbo. <laughs> Clement. And you guys don't know where the bad guy comes in. Um, oh no. And, um, and he rolled a... Um... Okay, okay, okay. First up, we have Oceanus. Uh, make a death saving throw for me. Okay, I've rolled. Um, it's a six. Okay, so that is one fail. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, next up is Krethic. Cool. Wait, so... is he just? He, he's just dead now. No, he gets three death saving throws, and if he fails three, okay, then he's dead. <sighs> okay, okay. Um, okay, so lizard folk have two multi attack, multi attack. So, um, I'm gonna throw my javelin. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm within range. Cool. Um, oh god, six to hit. Uh, misses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I will try, um, so I've lost my javelin, great. Um, I'm gonna just, I guess, Krethic will move behind and basically use a heavy club to try and hit him. Okay, oh, roll, roll to hit. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Misses. Okay. Anything else with your so turn, Krethic? Is... Um, I'm just gonna say, sorry guys, I'm a translator, not a soldier. Oh, After yeah. that happens. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, move back. <laughs> oh no. Oh, why did you have to move back? Wait, if, if Krethic had moved, wouldn't he get an, wouldn't the giant get an attack of opportunity? Um, yes it would. Because oh, he went up to him. Then he's not moving fast. I'm moving back. Um, you can jump back five feet, right? Where am I waking it up? Crazy. Please don't. No, because he'll. I get. He leaves melee range. No, but but if you do it with a five foot step instead of a, does that require an action? Am I going? Am I thinking of a completely different system of game? Are you thinking That's of very possible? But... Disengage. Is that an action or is that movement? Um, uh, movement. I think it's an action. Moving, stop, stop, move around. I don't know. Yeah, it's an action. Thanks, action. Yeah, and then you have to um, have the feet mobile to not trigger a reaction. Or be a rogue. Um, okay, next up we have the big bad. Um, and he is going to, after dodging... Well, no, he didn't even dodge the attacks. They just did not make it through his thick hide. 
um, he's going to kind of let out a gruff laugh, um, dismissing the attack from Krethic, and he is going to um, pick up the unconscious Oceanus um, and use his great club on his head. So uh, Krethic's kind of lying floppily in his hand um, and as the great club comes down onto his head. Um, and that is a 15 to hit. It hits. And as it's within five feet, it's an auto crit. Mm. Um, Oceanus, you see um, the air kind of leave his lungs as he ceases or gills. to. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the the force behind the flow the kind of creates a thunderous shock waves that um, shatters the the otherwise uh, quiet serenity of the swampland. Um, it connects with a devastating impact, just tearing through Oceanus's defenses. Um, the elegant being adorned in shimmering pearls and seaweed. Uh, he he just is dull and lifeless um the beast fueled by primal instinct and hunger for dominance watched as oceanus once a symbol of beauty and grace crumpled um the stillness that followed was eerie the only sound the haunting echoes of the dying breaths a grim reminder of the brutality that lurks within the shadows of the murky swampland um he is going to um <coughs> he is going to move 40 feet away from the group taking a attack of opportunity from Krethic. Oh, is that me? Yes. N n we're all we're all still stealth technically, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. I'm just witnessing. Yeah. Yeah, I think Millie's got a um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, Who's Millie? Um <laughs> I think I'm gonna try she and is. use my club again. I'm going to try to use my club again. It's 18 to hit. Um, that does hit. Roll your damage. Okay. Um, let me just get my dice. Okay. One. Let me just... I haven't got them out. I'm not prepared. Just heard all that. <laughs> okay. Um, that is seven damage. Okay. Um Next up we have um Next. Oh, I can get Oceanus off my uh, initiative tracker. Um Elrin. <laughs> um because I am hidden, can I sneak attack? Yes. I will sneak back with my longbow. Um, that is maths uh, twenty-three. It hits roll damage. Um, so one d eight, seven plus five is twelve, and then two d six, four sixteen. And five twenty one. Um, the arrow kind of pierces through the ogre's shoulder 
um, not the one holding Oceaneth, and he seems unfazed, still dead set on walking away from whatever this this group is that wants to stop him. He has his meal. He's happy. He's trying to leave. In what direction is he walking? Like, besides just, like, away? Like, is it towards the lizard people's abode? No. Not, it wasn't in the direction. Uh-huh. It, so, it, you were travelling from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. Um, and he is just, he came from kind of the bottom left corner up. Um, and he's just going back down. Okay, Tosca, you're up. You're invisible next to everyone. Um, well, I'm kind of, what, what, what do we want to do? Do we want to keep attacking it since, like, what's the, the game plan? I think you need to decide that for yourself. Yeah, like, you, you can't. Wing, wing, wing talk, right? Can't kind of talk. Uh, You're in combat. It's you have six so seconds. We can't right. talk about it. <clears throat> okay. Right. So, right. Okay. Combat continues. What, um, what's Tosca gonna do? Can I uh, cast dissonant whispers? Uh, is it? Is within sixty feet still? Right. The yes. Um, yes. The giant. Within sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah. I would like. Yeah. I would like to cast dissonant whispers. Um, uh, which means the target has to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, he is not very wise. What are you whispering to him? Good. Um, it's actually a decent melody. Um, I'm going to play the bagpipes. <laughs> which nice. I do have. Okay, you will... I feel like every time someone plays the bagpipes, that I feel like calling them discordant is offensive. <laughs> you will... Well, um... they are when Tosca plays them. Fair. You will lose your invisibility. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was just making you aware. Um, I've got over my boy. <laughs> he rolled a seventeen. Uh, he has a minus two to wisdom, so that is a fifteen. Oh no. Um. Oh, hang on. Uh, now I need to figure out what the level is for the saving throw, don't I? Uh, what the DC is. What's your charisma? Oh, mine. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you need charisma, I can tell you what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my charisma is plus four. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Um, so that's... Oh, no. Oh. oh yeah, DC 14, oh. then. 8 oh. plus. And he, rolled a, he got a 15. Plus, charisma makes 14. Oh, uh, fuck. Well, um, it does say... Half damage. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so roll damage. No for instance. Yes. Um E6, isn't it? It's whatever it says on the spell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um Oh, on a okay, no wait, on a Okay, no, that's a failed save, my bad. Uh blah, blah, blah. on a successful save, half as much damage. So it's three D six, but then half as much. So yeah. yeah, so roll three D six and half it. Two Three, five, oh. Nine, half as much, 4.5 psychic damage. Rounded. That's four, I think. Well, it's, I mean, it's five if you're going to round it up, because point But you five. round down normally, so. Well, you round up in mathematics. Yeah, but this is D.A. <laughs> right, well. Um, he kind of tilts his head, um listening to the tune stopping in his tracks for a moment before shaking his head um and uh continuing on his uh his path um next up oh is that all you want to do tosca um yeah i guess gimbal oh it's uh you already know it's going to be getting a bolt. Um, <laughs> how 
how big are the squares? Can I get like a little bit closer? Uh, the squares are I ten. I think my range should be okay. Yeah, ten feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, as long as I can hit him. Yeah, you'll be able well, to that's hit a him. That's big if. Oh well, yeah. Cool. You you'll be able to attempt to hit him. <laughs> that's the operative word there, isn't it? All right. Uh. Is it a roll higher than my spell casting ability, or is it? I can't remember which works now. Guiding bolt. Uh, range spell attack. Ah. Seventeen plus two plus seventeen. Plus, plus wisdom, right? So it's eighteen. And plus two more on that, because of your proficiency rates. Oh, cool. I did not know that. Dirty nice. 20. Um, Beautiful. That is and a hit. Damage-wise, I'm using a level two spell slot. So that is... D -d 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 six. Okay, so make sure you clarify what level spell slot you're using before you cast it next time. Oh, sorry. No, it's alright. I was, I was, even if it had missed, I would have used that anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> five d six, and I'm using my uh, divine domain, so that is max. So five times that's thirty. Um. I think. Yes. So as you nice. um, call down upon your god Prokan, who is being the god of the sea. Um, very well um, connected with the the sea elves, although they're not necessarily huge fans of his work. He still, you know, serves the the waters that they work on, and uh, the the light comes streaking down, um, scorching through this beast's um, through the top of his head and straight down through the middle of his body. Um, where he crumples to the ground, the top of his head is kind of charred with this um, blackened, uh, like, burn, but it's not, not a fire burn, um, and he falls unconscious, or oh, dead. Um, Oceanus kind of nice. falls limply to the side. <clears throat> it worked for once. <laughs> Okay, combat is over. Uh, oh yeah. I'm gonna. Cool. That was quicker than the croc. Yeah, this is gonna run to the ocean. Side. Run over yeah, to him. <laughs> He's just lay gonna still. Wear his, body. his his kind of his head is. Kind of his uh, like cheekbone and the side of his head has been caved in by the um, impact of the club. Um, he's not over there. He's is where he the broken? ogre fell. Um, uh, he he's he 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 very dead. He's completely dead. Completely dead. No, no one has any spells to. We're not necromancers, oh. are we? Reviver fine. Oh, are we? Uh, can I roll to throw up, please? <laughs> yeah, make a con save. <laughs> oh, now I roll a 15. <laughs> Wait, or is that two throw up? I feel like Alice wouldn't be able to... I mean, you don't have to roll for it. If you think Alice will throw up, you can throw up. She's going to stumble away from the body to like a... and just have a little heave through tears. <laughs> I'm going to push Gimbal's past next. everyone and... Oh, <laughs> come on. I'm going to push past everyone and say, right, I'm going to I'm gonna do the last rites. He's a man of the ocean and this is what Procan would want. Uh, I get a bit of, like, napkin... What are they called? Handkerchief! I have a handkerchief and I lay it over his face. Just to... Well done. Um, I'll just say a few words for Oceanus and the holy god Procan. You are taken before your time. Oh, With what? That is life. It's just out there, as Procan knows best. I will hope you find all the, the treasure and fair seas wherever you are next. 
Should we, like, bury him? We should, we should probably do something. We should probably... Did anybody talk with him about, you know, what he would have wanted? And, you know, Tosca, you, you talked with him a lot, right? I'm thinking, I don't know, burial at sea feels appropriate. He, he would want to be tossed into the ocean, for sure. Yeah. Not like... <laughs> Yeah. Make it sound really bad. Oh, I mean, so we did we, did we see the map of like the area and like just a general like you're roughly there because uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So shotgun not carrying him. We're down there somewhere. Yeah, you're like here. <clears throat> I believe. Uh, no, that's where they thought I the thought crack. They're away from there. closer I towards sea. like towards yeah. sea. Yeah. Oh. You're like. like... In the yeah. middle. Between F on the... Map. How much of a walk is it? Um, well, well, we've already done a good six-hour walk just to get to that point, haven't we? It's, mm. you've, you've got about oh, half... Uh, just over halfway back. I'd say there's a couple of hours left in it. I can make a little... I mean, we can just carry him between us. Or I, I, yeah. I can make a... I can make a little like, make, make something to carry him, but a little 10-minute wait, and I can make that. It should, should hold out for like, an hour or so. Uh, and I, I, I can... <laughs> I could carry him uh, could, quite we, happily. Yeah, I was going to say, we could magically carry him. Or we can just carry him. It's a scene. Yeah, we could make a stretcher. That would mm. make sense. Yeah. A stretcher? I've carried bigger shits well, than him. I've got enough. a bedroom, and we could use some tinder yeah, box. Well, for him, but unless you're volunteering. No. Yeah. I, I will throw him over my shoulder quite happily. Oh. <laughs> well, happily <laughs> throw your dead friend over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Done worse. <laughs> um, Are there yeah. any flowers nearby? Um, Crescent, could we give, could we give Oceanus a burial at where, where you are? At your way, where, where you're. Give him to detour with. Um, people are. I don't know what the what the, the I don't know the lair, the caves, the. Can someone help me with words? Uh, I don't think he would be happy resting underneath the ground. I know, no. but... He'd want we might to be able especially to... here. We you might, might be able not... to pass through the... But um... Ellis, my love, and I mean this in the sweetest way, you won't want to be around a body for too long. But... You know, could we not take him back to the boat? And, you know... It's not, it's not that far, surely. I do think that would be more appropriate. Krethic, would you mind the walk back to the boat? Um, we we must be getting it as much as much as this is is very sad. Oh my god, it is the least you guys can do. <laughs> After all we've done yeah. for you, come on. You, we you're might... literally not letting me finish as a DM. <laughs> I'm just saying, interrupt an NPC. <laughs> I'm just um, fine. Um, you didn't let me finish. Um, but I was gonna say, um, that. As much as I, I know you want to take him back to your boat, we can, if if he really wants to be taken out to sea, we can push him through the cave and the lair out to sea. There is a sea entrance, and that might feel a bit more um, calming and, and natural to just push him out into yeah. sea and let the sea take him from our lair. Yeah, yeah it'll be think, we'll yeah, that would... closer, easier yeah. for us as well. Yeah. That would be more appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. Thank you, Krethic. Okay. Sorry, Krethic. <laughs> I give Tosca a look of. It's gonna be okay. Hey, I'm in mourning. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be okay. Um, in response no, to Airless' question about flowers, um, I believe you've asked this before. There are not flowers. Um, there's yeah. like marshy reeds and um, tufts of bush and uh, twisted roots and vines, but there's no. Like flowering plants. Okay. Not well, uh... Fairer, but we should most probably get moving. I'll uh, just uh, cast a little predestination, predestination and just, just clean the area around the wound a little bit so it's a little bit less less disgusting and make it mm -hmm. a little a little puff of nice smells so it's a bit more, kind of almost like incense, a little, little karma on the body. Yeah, easily done. Mm -hmm. um, Ellis, do you have you have druid craft, right? I have no idea. What is that? 
Um, I if think... you're about to tell me that I could make flowers literally any time that I wanted, yeah, so I think so. I'm gonna be so mad. I think I think it's a cantrip. <laughs> I don't have that. It, yeah, it is a cantrip, but you don't have it. I thought I only had two. Like equipped. Or have I been doing cantrips around the whole time as well? Uh, well, I'll sort it after the session. I'll figure it out. I can't. I can't remember. I was um, going to say I don't have it in my cards. Maybe you have to. You maybe I, I think I left my cantrips upstairs. Actually, I don't think I have my cantrips on me. Yeah. I, only, I thought I only had the two. two cantrips. Yeah, you'll only know two. Yeah, and that is not one of them. Although I feel like it should have been. Level four, you can pick another one. Ooh. Um, oh, no, I'm going to pick them. <laughs> so, it's um, fairly easy to make the journey back. Um, Himbo, you are very strong, um, carrying. Uh, but... Go on. Uh, before before I do that, like as I'm picking her up, can I uh, inspect the ogre's hammer thing? The club. Yeah. You can. Um... Can, I, can I pick it up? Um, is it is it something that I can use? Uh yes, it is something you can use, I think. Um it is just a standard great club. Um it seems to be pretty crudely made. It's carved from like remnants of a tree trunk. Um it is massive though. So Fine. Uh, you're you're a dwarf, right? Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, I'll say you can use it if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it for now and work out if I want to use it later. Okay. It is a, a two-handed two club. <clears throat> oh shit, yes, that's fine. Maybe <laughs> I'm two-handed. Speaking uh, of hands, whose hand is free for me to hold on the wall back? <laughs> No one? Okay, I'll see <laughs> Not a single offer. <laughs> I, I didn't oh. hear that. Oh, sorry. Oh, I said, uh, whose hand is free for me to hold on the wall back? Oh, I've put my hand forward and kind of... Uh, I have my hand... 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 <laughs> hand hold on. Hand my hand. <laughs> would, a, would, a, would a berry make you feel better? No. No. I love hand. <laughs> Particularly, and if I were to say in numbers, yes, probably, but emotionally, no. That's okay. You're, you're, you're welcome to one, whether you're hungry or, or not feeling so emotionally well, or, or, or physically injured. Can okay, I still take one? Absolutely. <laughs> if it makes you a little bit better. Thank you. No, it still hurts. <laughs> oh, oh no. All airless. Let's get... Let's get you uh, to somewhere more comfortable. Okay. So, as you um, begin your walk back, um, it's it's a, a sombre walk, very saddening. Um, it's like the air in the swamp feels that much more invasive. It it was already hot and sticking to your skin and now it feels like it's suffocating you um you have spent a long time in this swampland um more time than any of you have spent in this kind of environment before um but you make your way back following uh Krethik's direction as he guides you back and you start to see familiar sights so um you remember about the tree trunk you had to climb over when you first began the journey and several other other bits that are kind of making it clear to you that you're you're almost back you're almost there um himbo you're starting to get a little cramp in your shoulder you're having to take a couple breaks here and there um i also go ahead and have a short rest everyone um from you know you, you can have a um the the accumulation of the breaks that you're having to take to get back will equate mm -hmm. to a short rest um i forgot what we get for that 
you can roll your hit die. Woohoo! Which die do I hit for that? Roll for that? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna roll. It says on uh, where <coughs> where your hit points are. It'll say mm -hmm. hit die, and it'll say ah, like three d six or something. Oh yeah, I see it now. So you can you can roll them. Um, roll three. If you want, you don't have to. But remember how many you did roll, because that is how many. Um, so if you if you don't get the chance to long rest after this, um, then you can't use the same amount of hit die. You only have like a limited pool of hit die you can use before you have to long rest. Mm -hmm. um, Guys, I, sorry, I assume you can't like exceed the maximum. No, you cannot. Cool. Krethic guides you back towards um, <laughs> the kind of you guys left from uh, what, did you leave from the pool that you came into? Yeah. Yeah, room 22. Um, and he, he, you see the familiar opening to this pool of water um, where the, you saw the giant lizards before um, upon first discovering the lair. And he guides you in and through and the kind of humidity and stickiness of the outside is immediately lost um, as you're welcomed to these trodden mud holes that have been fashioned through um, you know several hundred footfalls and um, although it's not home it's a closer step to home than the swamp was um, yeah you are back at the lizard folk lair um, I think we should go to the, the sea entrance to uh send Oceanus off first. Gets yeah. smelly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tosca nods mutely and is uh, uncharacteristically quiet. <laughs> Trevik, would you be able to help us? Yes, of course. Um, I can take you to our guard's pool that leads out to the sea. Um, and you can you can do your make peace with, with your loss there. Thank you. Um, so he kind of uh, guides you all um, through the corridors. Um, you pass the temple that you had previously made an offering in. Um, you pass the throne room and you go through a set of doors and up the stairs. Um, there are far, this, this whole area is far more expansive than you thought it was. Um, but you continue to follow through these winding corridors um, until you come t through uh, um, what appears to be some kind of um, guard post. Um, there are uh, four lizard folk standing guard here um, and uh, Krethic kind of nods and guides you all through. As you go through the guard post you are um you you are um brought across a kind of pool that it, it seeps down and out into the ocean you can't it's not like it's an open cave where you can see um like mm -hmm. directly to the ocean um but it, it's a large water-filled cave. It's roughly circular and about 70 feet in diameter. And it connects to the sea through kind of like a, a passage under the rock. Um, it's 15 feet across at its widest. And its roof at most is, you know, a couple of feet above the sea level. Um, the cave also connects to another cave through a passage in the corner. Um... The main cave has a high roof extending 25 feet above the water. Most of the cave appears natural, except for a rough ledge that's been cut into the run rock running along the southern edge, connecting it with the adjacent cave. 
at the western edge of the ledge, an opening has been cut in the rock wall to permit access to a passage beyond. Uh, near this, a flight of rough stone steps leads down into the water. The water is clear and tall seaweed, its fronds swaying lazily with the, um, you know, with the, the tide and the movement of the water um, cover the bottom of the, the pool. So what? Uh, how how are we? How do we do this? Um, so would you happen to have a boat or rowboat or something that we could put ocean us on? Raft. Something. <coughs> um, I I can go and I can go and try and grab one from the guard room. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. And he kind of pops out, um, tries to find something, and all can he can find is like this bench, I believe, or a wooden shield. But there, there's a there, yeah, there's this like bench um, slash wooden shield. And he like, he gives you two options. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's got a bench. For like, the warrior he is, a wooden shield would do. Okay, and and Krethic hands over to you and, and kind of moves to the side and lets you go. Kind of stays out of your way to let you you say goodbye in your own. Timbo, right, like indicate gently to him to place the body onto the shield. Um, will you help me walk walk it out to? Before you do, can I just give him something? Um, I'm gonna take two gold coins and I'm gonna kind of put them in his hand. You know, I don't know how far rigor mortis is set in yet, but uh, I mean, it sets and then it other. unsets. Um, it, it's you, you can fold his fingers over the coins. Cool. I shall do that. Okay. I'll who... walk him out with, with with him though. We can just go to the water edge and and almost as if Prokan heard the last rites over him, as the shield with. Um, Oceanus's body is pushed out into the cave. It's like the tide turns and begins to pull him through the water away from you. Um, one of his hand kind of flops out, trailing into the water next to him as the the tide pulls him through the passage and out of sight. My father always said it was hard to lose a crew member. I'm going to say... I'm oh, sorry. I go for it, Oscar. I was just going to say um, a few words in Elvish. So, like, I guess the other one understand, but just like, goodbye, friend. And now you can return to the sea. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is going to take a couple of steps forward. Um, I'm so sorry, I just, I, this is all my fault if I hadn't said to go over a thousand, like, go after a thousand teeth, maybe he'd still be here. It's alright, it's alright. Is it my fault? No, it isn't, Alice, it isn't. <laughs> he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't, if, if I hadn't, he wouldn't have. And he could stop crying. Continue to cry. I go down to Erlis's level and give her a hug and then hold on. Whisper reassurance in her ear. Then hold on tightly to your clothes. <laughs> a nice hot bath and some 
some food will do everybody good and rest a nice long rest i'm gonna whisper to tosca it's the lizard who sent us there in the first place you know this is all their fault <laughs> I that says, I agree. <laughs> I suggest we get some food and maybe go for a rest. Um, uh, and then. Yeah. And unless we need to deliver the crocodile head first. Head. Yeah. I mean, the queen. Might be busy, I don't know. Oh, yeah, let's look oh, graphic. Yes, I, I would recommend just so we could put all this, this, this very. I, I want to say I'm, I'm, I am quite moved by what I just witnessed the way you treated a fellow companion and friend of yours. Um, and I think just to put this, this sorry business of, of what's happened behind you, it, I think we should, um, take you to the queen. Um, and I'll gather some food in the meantime and meet you in the hall so you can rest afterwards. Um, but let's get this out of the way um, and save you any more pain. Let's go. Get this over with. I need a, a rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You all bid your goodbyes to your fallen teammate and make your way back towards the throne room guided by your lizard folk I was going to say leader I think that might have negative connotations at the moment um, mm -hmm. your lizard folk companion um, who you know is, is he's not he's not adorning the same impressive stature he had um his shoulders are slumped. He seems sorrowful for what you guys have gone through. Um, uh, Tosca, you have the highest passive insight. Um, it seems like he has never, never really had the kind of loss oh, never really seen the kind of reaction to loss that he's seeing right now um, in this community they're used to you know um, sending their, their, their going out to war and fighting and battling um, and it's it's normalcy for them but he he's seeing within you guys as a team as an, and as a group that it, it doesn't have to be normal um, and he's moved, he's touched, he's very sorrowful um, but nevertheless he guides you towards the Queen's throne room um, and uh, a guard outside opens the door and allows you to enter where you see please be the right music yes um, you see the queen sat upon her throne as, as she was once when you first came across her um, and she uh, catches uh, the crocodile head of which who is holding? Crethic or Gimbal sorry Gimbal was holding it initially. Uh, I don't have that. I know. Was it right, Luna? Oh Jesus! I, I thought it might have been Krethic who took it from. Maybe me. it was Krethic. Oh. Well, I don't think I, I, I didn't do much to kill it, <laughs> so I certainly wouldn't have taken his head as a trophy if I did absolutely nothing to, to help. So some, someone is holding the head though. Yes. Yeah. Um, One of us is. She sees it, and a smile begins to creep upon her face. Your Majesty, the uh, head you desired. 
thank you. Um, and you, you kind of, you see Krethic yeah, walk up to the... And stuff. Yeah, and you see Krethic walk up to the Lizard Queen um, and kind of whisper something in her ear. And she kind of, you, you notice her face shift. And, you know, she she's a stern queen, um, but you, you notice, I guess, I guess, Toski, you've got the highest passive perception. No, um, passive insight. Passive perception insight. is Elrin. Okay, passive, mm. I guess, insight, or is it oh. perception in this case? Uh, I mean, you're a DM, you choose. Okay. Um, I think I'll be passive insight. Um, you see that you know, th th there's a glimmer of kind of similar to what you saw on Krethic, but obviously like less obvious. Um, you see, kind of, you've 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 ha they clearly is is feeling kind of not sorry for you, but forlorn for you. Um, but it's very much like a second; it's a glimmer of that. Um, and Krethic kind of walks back and stands next to you. And she, you know, the author can take, you know, she takes a big sigh. Um, I mean, as much as I am happy that you have defeated the croc and helped our people um, with this this threat, upon what told me, I want to firstly offer my deepest condolences for your loss and the sheer respect and i guess yeah deepest sorry that I, that krethic has witnessed and i can i can see across your faces i know that there is a party missing here um and with that i want to firstly apologize um that you going to see the croc has led to this um and it's something you know as with with this with us as a lizard folk we don't typically mourn the dead we celebrate the dead in that they have fought for us valiantly in battle as i'm sure krethic has explained however seeing you for a full i don't want to go into a joyous um time at the moment this is this is a sad time and us as lizard folk will also mourn with you we respect your culture and how you deal with uh, people passing and we want to share our um, deepest deepest apologies sorry for what has happened um, and it's it's shed a new light I know some of you aren't um, you are half you know half human half um, elves you are different species but you know we lizard folk have I guess a specific viewpoint on what humans are like and the people who associate with humans, I should say, which is your party. Um, you know, before meeting you, I very much deemed you as, you know, humans weren't to be trusted. You know, we were very indifferent to the treatment we've had of them in the past. Um, experiences we, you know, humans aren't really liked in our lizard folk world and vice versa. You know, we've not been treated as, as well too. However, seeing how mournful um and how much empathy and and i guess the emotion that you've you've drawn out in me has really changed my opinion of that and i feel like humans and especially your party have, uh, i consider tr i consider trustworthy um in kind of potentially bringing you into what why we have been potentially looked like we're strong arming into um I guess an, an army and, and a and a battle with our weapons. Um and I guess I know this probably is maybe not the best time, but um I th I feel like you know, um the the battle that we're looking at fighting I want to reiterate is not against the people of salt marsh it's not against the likes of you it's an even deeper and more even terrifying threat to uh, sea and uh, coastal dwellers and it's the sahu again um we are extremely terrified of them and our our lizard folk population that are here right now 
was i would say double if not three times as large we established here about a year ago as we lost our original home to them we really wish to return home um we have tried to build an alliance with different um different species around the sea to tr because we know that this battle will be fought mostly underwater as the Sahurgan are, are water creatures um and we've got a we have an alliance currently with the Koalinth um and we were if I'm honest initially concerned about informing Saltmarsh and the humans because there as I've said there's a lot of hostility between us and and humans and those who are land dwellers I would say and I would like to you know use this opportunity as a an olive branch as i would really like to repair that relationship and especially after kind of the her heroic system of your friend sacrificing himself from what i heard in the battle and ultimately which led to um his passing and i want i would hopefully like there to be a truce and potentially an, an alliance formed um so that hopefully you know the Saltmar Council and their people will be of assistance if they can. I guess we should for about, uh, well, I won't say this out loud, but amongst the group, we should take this off for back to the council then see what they make of us to decide this alliance really is. No. Yeah, hmm. I agree. Nope. I think at the Back very least... Keep going, sorry. That's a, a, we can act as messengers. Yeah. Or potentially we just tell them that Sahuagan might attack them and they should mm -hmm. get ready to um, repel an assault or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think at the very least we, we should discuss, a, like, just as a, a campaign party away from everyone else, including, with all due respect, the Lizard Queen and uh, Grathen, so just, just so we can talk about it properly. Yep. I think our, um, at this moment in time, we are enveloped in grief, so we will need some time to discuss how best to go forward. Um, thank you for what you've done for us and I, I really want to say I'm sorry for your friend I want you to enjoy the hospitality rest and eat, take the time you need and when you are ready um, Krethic, um will come back with you um, to kind of assist you in, and kind of talk to the council um, as a representative of our people who is a um, he can speak common and is a translator for thank, us. Thank you. We will look after him. Um, thank you. Thank you for your... We, we will not impose for too much longer. Thank you. Jeez. Of course. Krethic, could you please take them back to their quarters? Start shuffling, guys. Start shuffling. Yeah, she <laughs> bows her head as you all make your leave, um, leaving the croc head behind. And Krethic guides you towards your um the the mess hall where you'd spent the previous night. Um exhausted and enveloped in grief, um you find comfort in this hall. Um with there is there is no sound, there's no um bugs chirping, there's no oppressive heat, uh, the lizard folk who previously occupied this area have left, um, whether it's of their own accord or um, due to you know the Queen's orders perhaps, they seem to be giving you peace and space whilst you need it. The only sounds in the room that you hear are the slight crackling of the uh, torch fires. Um, that are mounted around the room. Um, Krethic kind of says to you, I'm going to leave you um, to your 
your party and, and take the time you need as the queen has said and i'll be in the next room if you need me um and when you're ready to go and with that he goes into the other room Yeah, Grab gonna... her, let's throw her on a bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, are we getting frisky already? Are we, are we, <laughs> are we at that point of the Love campaign? Us. <laughs> People grieve in different ways. <laughs> I'm looking at her, she's looking peaky. She's already thrown up several times. <laughs> Just so much blood. Where was his, his face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, I mean his face Sorry, is pretty gross. <laughs> 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 oh dear. I'm going to have to cast sleep on myself no. tonight, I think. <laughs> no. Can you yeah. do something with Alice? Alice, uh, Alice, would you like me to help you get to sleep? <laughs> Alice, would you no. like another berry? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a, I do have an emotional support berry if that would be. I've got some stronger stuff, some more if you like. No, <laughs> given your track record, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just can't stop blaming myself. Mm. I, I should... It was the lizard's fault, if anything. But we'll I debate we that another time. Blame the blame the giant that actually killed him. Yeah. yeah. So, we... he was just looking for food. That's... We were all at the wrong time. Kind of... We were all tired and we should have taken a rest sooner, but... But it was my idea to go after the Thousand Teeth. It was my spell that failed him. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh... We, we've done a lot. We've proven ourselves. Like I, I've pulled my um, wine out of my bag and I've uncorked it and started pouring a glass out to hand to Ellis. I, I down it in one. Oh! That wine I hear? Yeah. It's I, I'm just pouring port this wine. out. I was saving this for... Uh, well, anyway. And start handing wine out to people. I'm gonna hold my glass out for a refill. <laughs> I'll take this one slower it. this time. She needs some more. I'm gonna raise my. I will say. I'm too oceanous. Too oceanous. Too oceanous. And then I down half of it by saving the rest. Pluck the cup from your hands and put it to the bedside table or floor, whatever's next to you. And <laughs> yeah, I'll take the bunk next to you, Alice. Don't worry. Can I? Can I cuddle? If you want to cuddle, come on. Well, I don't take up much. <laughs> well, so I realise what it's like to have a child. <laughs> <laughs> Don't patronise me. <laughs> Tosca, do you want to be on the other side? Sure. Realize anything I'm quite crazy anything last night, man. I'm just lying in the middle of this bed going, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Two overly emotional creatures next to me. <laughs> I'm sticking with you because you've got some blood. We're gonna band together. <laughs> I'll pick a bed on the other side of the room and go into a trance for four hours. Yeah, try and sleep. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am gonna cast sleep on myself. Oh, yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, your long rest comes with difficulty as um, you're plagued by nightmares of uh, hellish swamp monsters and the what ifs and what could have happened how could have things been different what could you have done to fix it um, if, if only you'd not taken that route if only 
you'd been quieter if only you could have got to him before the ogre if the endless if onlys if onlys um eventually you do all find sleep um and you can all go ahead and complete your long rest um mm. you awaken in the morning and find the rooms undisturbed the lizard folk remain giving you the space you need they remain faithful to their word I suppose we shouldn't stay for too long get some if anyone wants to get some food and make a move how's everyone's injury better off for sleep Oh, uh. Elrin, Hembo, are you okay? Yeah, I'm feeling quite pretty good, physically. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't want to stay here too long. No. Um, uh, the vibes are... abysmal. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Somebody want to go and get Krethek and we'll uh, head to, uh, well, head to the boat. So, have we decided what we're doing? Are we going to the council? That's a good point. Do we really think taking him back to the council is a good idea? I don't think it is. Think like, it, everyone that we've brought to the council, they've, they've killed, and I, I, I can't I can't have that on my conscience again. I can't do it. You saw, you know, the the, the beasts, you know, that they made us, you know, uh, when we first met him, they, they were these people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have no you... love for the council, probably. I'm not a huge fan of the lizard people. And I'm, I'm, I, I think the lizard folk are fine. I'm, I'm, I have more distrust over the council people. I want to see the best in them, but they haven't proven themselves to be kind. Look, bear in mind, even if... Elven are not still not welcomed even by them, Tosca. Uh, anyone not you? We will never be welcomed by them. Today it may be... Oh, I, I, I think we should sack both of them off. Yeah. Today, today it may be listen card, tomorrow it could be us. Oh, I, I agree. Uh, fully, I'm not a fan of doing the lizard people's bidding any longer. I don't care if they've suddenly grown a conscious over... Conscience over ocean. I think they treated us with more respect. What's transpired? Well, they certainly didn't make us fight anybody to prove other well, other than that creature, I suppose. But like, well, they kind of and made... they didn't make it. That was my decision. It's my fault. It's not your fault, Ellis. And they're patting her on the head vigorously, and I realised it might be a bit too hard and start slowing down. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the other half of that wine from last night. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we agree to fight other people's battles. Mm, That's kind of my whole thing. But, uh, we made the choice to fight this battle. The other one, well, we didn't. That's the difference. What, what, what was your last conversation with them, Clement? What did they want? The Queen, or the Council? The Council, the council. because you were the only one that went that time. They yeah. wanted more information about what was here and she says looking back at her her notes her her little notebook that she keeps on her why they're stockpiling weapons and stuff right yes yes um she can't find where she was do we have any information on the uh the sea people um, the sea. The Sahu again. The, the ones who. The, yeah. the Sahu, sorry. Sahu again. Sahu again. Yeah, do we. The Sahu. Them, yes. <laughs> and <laughs> we did Dr. Sahu. If you can do the names of Dr. Who, you can do Sahu again. Um, <laughs> I will say, as, as a reminder, a couple of sessions back, Thank Oceanist you. reacted quite badly seeing. So oh. who are gonna mm. head in the, the yeah. hall? I'll say that as like a. Oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's why I'm I'm quite 
conscious that we should most probably mm -hmm. and um uh, uh, clement you are yeah. and gerald i guess um you are like very knowledgeable on um sea monsters um and although you've never mm -hmm. seen a sahuagin other than the the head of the sahuagin in the in the thing yeah. um you know that they're monstrous yeah. humanoid species that live oceans and seas and underwater lakes underwater lakes obviously underground lakes and underwater caves um yeah. and they're inherently evil Look, I fought a Kraken or two. I'd rather face another Kraken than face a load of these. Like, it would be significantly a better way to die, shall we say. Um, yeah, so with the council, they asked about smuggling weapons and don't and don't want to make it hostile. Well, I think we managed that one. Um, wow. I think the least we could do is at least pass the message back to the council. Um, yeah, often. Make them aware right. that there is a threat to them, and to the town. Even if it's the case that they don't join with the lizard folk, at least we can save m more people. Yeah. Potentially, like the enemy of my enemy is my friend type thing. Oh, so that's some wisdom both... from you, Elrin. Oh, you live 300 years and you hear other people say things and you copy them. Ah, uh, you know it, you just don't know it. I get it. That Correct. explains so much. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I need some food and yeah. to not be in a cave. So yeah. let's do those things. Um, who's looking uh, on Crassic Store then? I open the door with my toes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see where this is going. Hot. Make a dexterity check with disadvantage. <laughs> First one is uh, rod an eighteen and a six, so six plus nine. No, is it dex or acrobatics? It was acrobatics last time, wasn't it? Well, it's dex now. Ah, uh, boring. Um, six plus dev, uh, five, eleven. It's a it's DC a really a really slippery handle. But you're you're working it. You're trying. You're getting better, but you're not quite yeah, you at are. it yet. You can't. You can't. Can't quite. I am determined to eventually not have to roll these at disadvantage. <laughs> I will do it so often. Um. Yeah. Is is wait? Is the door open or is it? No, not? it's not open. Oh. No. Can I try again? No. Uh. <laughs> Can I do it with my hand? Yes, easily. It opens. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can like put my body in the way so the others can't see it. And I just like, pretend I did it with my feet, like a normal person. Okay. The door swings mm. open. Kretik, we're hungry. Ah, uh, I thought you might be. I've organised for... Um, one of my my chef friends to bring some food to you just so you don't have to see anyone that you don't want Ooh. to um just to you know i i'm a, appreciative that you've done something for us and you don't really want to see all of us um uh, potentially not in in we know you're going through a lot so we want to just give you space um so they should be here in about 10 minutes or so uh, for you to eat some food um but I have got some, um, I have got something for you all. Um, I, as I've said, I, I was, I was very touched by how you said goodbye to your friend. Um, and I wanted to offer my condolences and offer you, um, potentially a parting, um, a parting gift um i maybe not necessarily if if um but um tosca um you're in this room now um tosca what was that last bit sorry i just 
called you name. <laughs> oh, okay, right, sorry. <laughs> if you could, uh, so I, I feel like you, you're best to receive this. This is a gift to all of you, but I, I feel like you are the closest to Oceanus. Um, and I kind of spent some time from some old wood crafting what I think was his favourite fish. Uh, was it a tuna, I believe? One of you mentioning one of our There was definitely a discussion of tuna. Um, I remember one of you were telling me a story about your fight um, on a boat. Or he brought some tuna on board or something. I can't remember. Um, try and get someone out of the water. Um, but I, I felt like, you know, he was kind of a bit aghast at the fish beatings and all of that. I've, I've crafted a wooden uh, tuna with his... Um, uh, let me just give it to you and, and you can see. Oh. Um, so Krethik hands this um, to Tosca and it's Thank you. basically like in intricate kind of, it's about the size of your palm. It's it's, it's very small and it's it, you can tell it's, I mean, it doesn't look this polished. Um, it's a bit kind of, you can tell it's handcrafted. Um, and obviously as, as there's a folk don't really, you know, they're, they're warm, they're underground there's like they're not potentially the best at crafting wood um but you can make out that it is a tuna you can see in kind of what is common which you know is that your uh pardon the pun common language between you and um Krethuk. he's written um Aww. and yeah hands it to you yeah tosca is genuinely touched so they look kind of torn right now um and at that, at which point during this time, um, the food has arrived and it's been put down on the table. Um, so yeah, you can it's just eat some hearty, eat some food. hearty vegetable, like root vegetable stews and roasted potatoes, and um, there is a singular roasted fish for you all to share. Um, pretty large, not a tuna. Um, <laughs> Yeah, place on the table, and you can all sit and feast before you begin to set off back towards Salt Marsh. Um, Krethic, kind of. Is there anything you want to do whilst you're eating, or can we just go on ahead to beginning to leave? Um. Ellis would kind of like to visit the, the young woman again. She needs to remember life. Yeah, easily done. Um, yeah. Krethik's more than happy to take you to see um, the the nursery. Um, you enter on in and it's the same bustling, full of tiny lizard folk running <laughs> around. Um, he doesn't take you into the hatchery this time. Um, but there are several smaller, even smaller children lizard folk, um, seemingly fresh hatchlings, who are kind of pretty helpless in the arms of several of the, the lizard folk people there. Um, it's joyful, they're playing, um, they don't seem to notice your presence at the door as they're too engrossed by whatever they are playing with. Some of them are rolling around in the dirt, some of them are jumping on top of each other, piling up, seeing how high they can get before the bottom one gets too squished and um yeah, it's it's lovely. If you like children. <laughs> oh, thank you, I needed to see that. Of course. And he you... takes you back all leave out the same um, un uh, underwater not really underwater submerged cave half submerged cave of water uh, that is room 22 um, and um, Krethik begins to follow you, you guys this time as he has no idea where you've left your boat he no clue um, yeah, wasn't he? Was he? Wasn't he one that we rescued? No. Is that a different? Yeah. Lizard person? Oh, oh no, he was one that you rescued. Yeah, yeah. So he was with us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then he does know where your boat is, but he's still gonna follow you guys. 
Cause... Well, yeah, before we leave the cave, I said to Crescent, go, are you sure you want to come with us? Because the council might not be so friendly towards you. I assume we've had this conversation already with them, essentially. But uh, if not, Krathic, are you sure you want to come with us? Because the council might not be so friendly towards you. I mean, they can't be um, more friendly than, than you guys were when you first met us. So um, if, if, you know, it, it's fine. No, we were very friendly. Yeah. You're correct. So, uh, I mean, I'll, if, if it's anything like, you know, I feel like we're trying to build a lot of things of that i meant to be a translator mm. i will valiantly represent my my mind Crescent, um, what they, on this quest they, they, was not, they tried to kill you though that's fine i'm doing it for my people if i die in battle i die in battle yeah. Yeah. it won't be a battle yeah. that'll yeah you'll be a slaughter you might just disappear gone no one knows um, I guess we'll know. Clement! We're, I assume mm, we're going to be there. Clement, make a persuasion check with advantage because you've got help from your friends. Cool. Come. Oh, crackenory. Hold on, I'll come back here. That oh, went behind the computer. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's uh, numbers. Sixteen do. So, um, you're you know trying to persuade Crethit not to join for fear of him being murdered all, and uh, with Elrin um, helping you, um, he kind of reads the 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 kind of worry in your face and says, "Oh, okay. Well, can you at least make sure you pass on the message? We want an alliance. Willing to me we'll stay here." Um, if they need a translator or someone who's representative, tell them to contact me on this. He sends you like a bit of paper, which is instructions on how to get like flyer letter to him. Okay. Um, I stashed that in my backpack thing. I don't know if I've got. I assume a backpack or a pouch or whatever. Yeah, you've all got backpacks. Cute, cute. We like the backpack. Backpack. Pack. We will, we will pass it on, Krithik, don't worry. Hope we make it back to the boat. Just looking at the marshes and the terrain. Yeah, let's hope we don't meet any more frog people. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you laughed and now I think we're going to meet more <laughs> frog people. <laughs> no. Aaron. <laughs> this is like that. Uh, I just hope my shoes are near the rowboat still. <laughs> um, so as you kind of make your way um, out of the cave and, and you know into the marshes, back towards um, the ghost, um, he you see Crethic kind of standing and watching you with a kind of torn look on his face and, and kind of slowly waving in a very weird way. He's kind of moving his hand in a massacre waving isn't a typical thing he might have seen it and it's like a massive circle <laughs> his way of waving goodbye a sort weird of like amount of to... elbow movement yeah it's like a weird elbow circle he's trying to wave to you guys like, like you what bearded do. dragons <laughs> do when they wave <laughs> oh my god yeah. that's so cute <laughs> um, that's I kind of stick my hand up and do like a little kind of wave by the head it's like just to acknowledge and no, he's, acknowledged, he's been acknowledged kind of thing and with that he yeah watches you until you've gone. Um, who Sight. is leading the march back to the rowboat? Who thinks they know the way I'll best? Go first. Okay, make I... a survival I'll... check for me. <laughs> Let's hope the navigator. That's a natural one. <laughs> oh, for that, fuck's sake! That was a one. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have an adventure. <laughs> Okay, oh. so you yeah. are making your way back, at least you think, towards the rowboat. <laughs> and um, let me roll. Okay. Um, as yeah. you're walking. There's a left at the bottom and then a right. As you're walking, um, 
Elrin, you are kind of glancing around like, where, which direction was it in? You're trying to listen out for the, yeah. the running water of the river. Um, and as you turn around, you collide straight into a tree. Um, you take two points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and you feel tears spring into your eyes as um, your nose is definitely cracked. Um, oh. And begins to bleed slightly. Um, make another survival check for me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, oh, I didn't actually look what my modifier was. Um, survival. Um, 12. The rest of the journey is. Hang on. <laughs> unimpeded. <laughs> um, it, it takes you a couple of hours maybe uh just from getting lost with his first directions and then rerouting yourself back onto it before you do find the river um and you begin to uh walk along until you come across the rowboat um Elrin make a perception check eight you cannot find your boots anywhere they have vanished. <laughs> Fuck. You can see, like, yeah. the 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 remnants of the footprints where you initially took them off, and then you can see the footprints of where you began walking with just your feet. But the boots seem to have vanished entirely. Um. But it's you clearly some thieves operating in the area. All get back onto the boat, the rowboat, and one member lighter uh, and going downstream. It is a much easier journey down um, as you break out into the ocean. Um, you see the sea ghost sitting where you left it and row on board. Well, not actually on board, but like row up to it and then board the boat. Um, it's pretty easy to make your way back to Salt Marsh. Um, it's not a long journey, particularly. Uh, and the wind is in your favour. As you, with the crew you have left on board, um, all leave the, the the marshland and return to civilization um the salt marsh dock is a welcoming sight um as you moor up alongside it himba you're not throwing up again are you No. <laughs> that sounds like a it. not currently. Mm. But dry land is literally right there. Yeah. I think we better get you on it. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Before we hit the council. Where are we going can for that we... plan? Well, can Smack we hit a tavern? Go pay Hannah a visit. Mm. Mm, I agree. Yeah. Lobster wine in us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a good bath, maybe. I'm not saying there's a bit oh, of... I don't know about that. But... I've done enough of it, thank you. Mm, I think mm. you guys know, don't realise the smell that's lingering. Yeah, I just walked through a bog with bare feet, so um, <laughs> I assume I'm like mud all the way up to my knees. <laughs> Pretty much. We should probably get you new shoes as well. I might yeah. just try and make it my my thing. <laughs> so people you can like, join oh, you know, it's the elf with no shoes. Yeah. Tell me, we'll look pair together. Yeah. Little and large. Can I quickly go and grab the <laughs> captain's old boots for Elrin? And we're like, we'll sort some proper ones out later. But 
hear uh, some, but it, there was some. I'm pretty sure there was some in the captain's quarters when I'm, on the, one of the other sessions. Yes, there was boots in the captain's quarters. I mean, I don't want to put them on while my feet are so muddy still. Okay, well, find them in the captain's quarters <laughs> if you need them. Okay, and I will definitely remember they're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to get off the boat and encourage the others to follow me to the the lovely tavern that I was in, which is called... Napping Lion? Yeah! Napping Lion. Yeah! Oh, so, so good at this remembering <laughs> lot. <laughs> Look, I can, I've got, like, bits in here. Bits in the brain. It's just... Look, I couldn't remember what a storm was called earlier, okay? So, bear with. There's been, there's been a couple of them, so... Yeah. Let you off. You make your way... Oh, well, let me change the music. Uh, you make your way into the snapping line. Elrin, you're getting some real funny looks off people. Um, I mean, the whole party is. You are stinking, covered in mud. Dean, the dogs need to go out for a wee. Um, and um, uh, various races. Bear in mind, Saltmarsh is a heavy human town. Um, and Elrin, you have no shoes on. But you <laughs> get in. And the atmosphere is lively and jovial and casual and fun. It's, I want to say, around 11 o'clock in the morning. 12 noon, maybe? Ish? Is this the same pub where I befriended that guy, or is this a different one? What guy? The gay guy? No, that's the other huh? pub. Yeah. No, no, that's no, no, no. this is this is Hannah's pub. Um, you befriended. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a different layout. Sorry, thing. sorry. No, it's all right. No, it might be. There's there's like three pubs. The captain's lover, right? Yeah. Yeah. This re this reminds me of the layout for the captain's lover one. No. Um. This is the layout no, for the captain's lover yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then I will go to two down because I think two down are. I thought it's the captain's level one was the one next to the water. Yeah, it is. I think this is. I think this is. The... They have like an this L-shaped counter like this. Though. Sec I think. I. I think they look very similar. It's the next one. Um, this one. This is the the one. Ah, uh, yeah. What was the one that you just did before that? That was the posh one, one, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that um... was the posh one. Okay. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, I'm gonna walk up to the bar where Hannah is, and uh, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna follow. Yeah. Good morning, Hannah. Hi. Good morning. Um, I get you. You look a bit bleary-eyed. I need something strong. Oh yeah. well, I think that's the job of the lobster wine. Yeah. Get me one. I'll have a bottle, please. A bottle? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, like, I look concerned at Erlis, like, can that little body contain that much alcohol? Oh! <gasps> your... We just got a keg. I think the ambassador thought she was messaging in our chat. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, I'm just being a Oh, okay. Bit. <laughs> so I don't know why she would need to. Oh, okay. Write I, was that like, I thought that was like a note for me to remember um, as a reaction. <laughs> um, yeah. Negative, like, uh, charisma. It's, it's similar to all the stuff we put in our chat of like reactions, so. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, so you want a bottle? A, a bottle? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, is it not? I thought it was served in. Like, is it served in pints normally? normally? It is normally. Served. It, yeah, it is served. It is served in pints, but I I can just give you the bottle. Um, but that would probably make yeah. me about. I mean, what is the ABV of lobster wine? That's oh, okay. I can do three that's points. That's a secret. <laughs> that is a secret. Yeah. It's... <sighs> not not a heavily regulated market, so. I'm gonna say the bottles we put it in are they are oh seven fifty, so it's about a pint and a half. So, how many how many bottles am I getting? Eight. Well, a pint and a oh, half per bottle. There's only seven of us now. <laughs> 
Okay, so you want seven bottles of lobster wine, one each. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okie doke. Um, can we get some access to bathrooms? Specifically a bath, because... Yeah, bath. maybe, may, Maybe several. I... I'm not big yeah. on sharing with you guys. Yeah, you can no. um, you can take the rooms like you did last time you were here. There's a few separate rooms you decide that you share with. I think we've got a room of three, a room of two, a, and a room of four, I believe. So that should do the the eight of you. That'll do. We'll take it. Definitely. I just look at the others like, don't, don't argue. We're not. This is not an argument situation. <laughs> Seven bottles. I'm just writing this down. Lobster wine. Lodgings. How long do you think you're gonna stay here? Uh, we've got a boat at the harbour. We just need we just need a, a wash. We need somewhere to maybe a maybe a bit of dry land for normal dry land. For yeah, of course. Cool. So one night for now. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll um I'll add it to your tab as we normally do. And we can set it up when you leave. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. We'll try I grab not my bottle and start walking up to the room. <laughs> Like not. <laughs> okay, so as you all go to your respective rooms and clean up and enjoy your bottles of lobster wine that you have received, um, we will turn down the session there. I think. Are we uh, going to be all sparkly and clean for the beginning of the next one? You will be. <laughs> I'm drunk. But your nose is still broken. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, um, to my charm. <laughs> Earl just needs to wash that sick off her. If everyone <laughs> wants to, I mean, and I'm sure you will, you can all go ahead and level up to level four. <gasps> Finally. Oh, we oh, get, we get feats now, right? Yeah, so... Oh, um, just... Do they get feats? We yeah. get an extra feats, yes. I've already got oh, feats. Yeah, we've got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I was like going... We do already have feats. Okay. Okay. So, it's going to be a fall again. <laughs> when you level up, take a look at the player's handbook. Um, just, I mean, you could just fucking Google it as well. Um... And um, to Google now, there are some feats that you are able to take. Um, not all the feats will be available to you because um, we're just doing player's handbook, not like Tasha's hideous cauldron and Tasha's hideous cauldron, Tasha's laughing cauldron, Tasha's something cauldron. Um, so yeah, it's a spell. It's just like the basic player's handbook rules, feats, and. Um, I believe if you mm. don't take a feat, you can take ability score increase. But I would highly recommend taking a look at some of the feats that are available to you. Um, they do massive impact on um, battle and general gameplay. Um, yeah, they level four yes, really buff, buffs you up a whole a whole new bunch. Um, sincerest apologies to the dice gods. Um, to you guys from the dice gods uh, for slaughtering your dear friend there. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, that was brutal. I mean, that was so yeah. planned. <laughs> we we planned we planned to kill off Oceanus. We did not expect the dice to roll in our favour quite as easily as they did. Um, yeah. there there was no fudging <laughs> of of the rolls there at oh. all. Um, we were expecting it, to it need to fudge the rolls, but but we he, did not. He fudged his way by falling out of that bush, so... Yeah, because he rolled a nat 1. <laughs> that seemed to be enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, to be fair, yeah, okay. I forget there was a roll involved in the stealth. Uh, okay. That's enough plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, we, we did plan on killing him, not necessarily in that encounter, but at some point, relatively soon. Um... But the, the dice yeah. just rolled in, in favour for today. Um, I'm going to end the stream. Everyone say goodbye stream. 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 Goodbye stream.